Good morning. And welcome to our second semester assembly. We've gathered this morning to mark the halfway point in the 2021-2022 school year. I'd like to begin by inviting Brooks Covington to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Would you please stand? This year, we will hear from three student speakers, one each from the lower, middle, and upper schools. Students in each division were invited to submit essays in response to one of several inspirational quotations. The top essays in each division will be presenting this morning. We will hear first from fifth grader Rosie Fielden, representing the lower school. Rosie's essay was written in response to Martin Luther King's quote, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Rosie. When I think about this quote, I think it means that life isn't perfect. There's going to be bumps along the way. Sometimes in life, there will be tough times, mean people, and hard decisions. But not all the time. I relate to this a lot because I too have had bumps in life. When I was little, I had a dog named Cash. He was a good boy. But when he was three, he got very sick. We don't know why, he just did. Soon he wouldn't go outside or eat or drink. Then he wouldn't walk. That's when we knew we would probably have to put him down, and we did. This was a hard decision to make. He had a good life, though. But that is what Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. meant when he said that quote. When Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was put in jail, did he give up? No. He kept trying to give everyone a fair life. He inspired so many people to dream big and follow your heart. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward, just like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said. Thank you. Thanks, Rosie. That was great. Next, eighth grader Sheila Goins will represent the middle school in response to Maya Angelou's quote, try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud. Within the world, there has always been injustice. There has always been strife. This is a concept that is so accepted we forget about the good things. Sure, acknowledging the bad is important for change, but you can't take all the hardships with no light at the end of the tunnel. Sometimes that light is someone else who will carry your burden with you, a friend. Your life sometimes seems like the only one. You might lose sight of everything else. It isn't selfish, it's basic human nature. But when you see someone else struggling, you may start to compare yourself. I have no reason to be sad, they have it worse than me. Or, I wish I could see things the way that they do, that that would fix it. These things are both misguided. To truly become at peace with your mind, you can't constantly compare yourself to others. It's very important to notice when someone else is struggling and help them. Then, and only then, can you truly be the rainbow. Care isn't about constant positivity or even toxic positivity. It is about remaining neutral. Staying neutral means thinking, this is the way things are. I can change it or I can stay the same, but this is how they are right now. If this mindset is so important for helping yourself or others, why do we forget it so often? Many people will tell you, the only way to happiness is to eradicate the bad, not in the real world, but in your mind. Putting on a positive mindset and never looking at the downsides. This mindset, however, can lead you to overlook the struggles of others and teach yourself that you aren't allowed to be sad or have a bad day. When you allow this type of thinking to take over your life and mind, it can make it difficult to see the moments when you are called upon to help others. My Angelou's perspective is the best way of thinking. Times are hard now, sure. Times will always be hard. This, there will always be at least one thing wrong in your life, 
and the best way to get through it is to find a way to help others. You need to hold out your hand and accept someone else's darkness to fully achieve your own moral light. Being a rainbow alone will leave you, o will leave you overflowing positivity, swimming in a, a fake happiness. But being a rainbow in someone else's life can teach you how to overcome your own cloudy days and see the sun ahead. Thank you, Sila. Finally, ninth grader Cooper Singer will represent the upper school, speaking in response to Gandhi's quote, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in service to others. Cooper. One Friday in seventh grade on a middle school service learning day, I remember walking up to the silver microphone with a few of my friends, preparing to sing any song that came to mind. There was a crowd of elderly people staring us down, or sleeping, as we began to sing. I wouldn't say we were professional level in the slightest, but their faces lit up anyway. Seeing their bright smiles and chatting with them, letting them share their stories, was an amazing experience. To quote Gandhi, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others, and that is what I learned that day at Westchester Manor. Serving others is a core value I find in myself and the Westchester community. Service is defined as the action of helping or doing work for someone. The principle of serving others is a key component in being part of the Wildcat Nation. I have been taught this value throughout my career at Westchester by taking part in CARES Cruise events, such as Change for Change, Wrapping Books for Northwood School Elementary, and participating in canned food drives, as well as middle school service learning days. These programs have taught me that by just taking a small part out of my day or week to do something for someone else can make a difference. Outside of school, from kindergarten through seventh grade, I participated in the YMCA's Y Princesses program. I remember going to ring bells outside Walmart every year to collect change for the needy. Before I went, I honestly dreaded the thought of standing in the freezing weather, ringing a bell for hours, but once I got there and saw people's smiling faces as they donated their loose change, I enjoyed every moment of it and felt even better after. Whenever you sign up for an act of service, you may think of it as a chore, but I promise the satisfaction of helping others is definitely worth it. Now that I am in high school, I am looking forward to more opportunities of service in the High Point community. Some of these opportunities that I encourage you all to try as well include volunteering at the Boys and Girls Club of Davidson County, packing meals with Feeding Lisa's Kids, helping build ho houses with Habitat for Humanity, volunteering at your local animal shelter, packing backpacks at Wesley Memorial Church, having breakfast and reading with local elementary students, and so many more. Hopefully, the gift of service brings a positive impact to the people receiving it as well. Whether you decide to put a smile on someone's face, give warm clothes for the winter, or donate to Goodwill, instead of just throwing things away, every small act of service can leave a lasting mark on someone's life. I think the beginning of the new year is the perfect time to make a commitment to help others through service, and I challenge each of you to do so. Thank you. Wow, thanks to the three of you for sharing these incredible thoughts for us. And I hope that all of us will take away something that we've heard and reflect on that as we move into our, the second half of our school year. Let's give these three ladies another round of applause. Well done. Well done.